Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane and today we'll have a look at Cadena. Now right now the price currently sits at $21.53. That's with a circulating supply of 156.9 million. And as for the total and max supply, it's the exact same. That currently sits at 1 billion. Now, something really extraordinary has been happening with Cardina. Within the last seven days alone, this coin has went from $6.05. This coin has went from $6.50 to where it is right now, to where it is right now around $21.48. This is really extraordinary. So we're going to go for a price analysis and price prediction. And most importantly, we're going to understand what Cardina is exactly. And some people are starting to compare Cardina with Solana. So we're going to have a look at that as well. So what exactly is Cardina? The purpose of Cardina is to be a single source for resource needed to build blockchain applications. Cardina solves many of the problems that have impeded widespread blockchain adoption to this date, including scalability, security, and ease of use. So let's take a look at scalability first. The public blockchain is proof of work protocol that has solved layer one scalability. This is achieved by braiding together several Bitcoin like chains. As transactions volumes increase, the network can expand to larger configuration from 10 chains to 20 chains and deliver higher throughputs capacity. The smart contract language PAC is Turing incomplete and offers formal verification. Turing incompleteness reduces the language attack surface without compromising domain specific functionalities. Formal verification allows smart contracts authors to mathematically prove their code does not contain bugs. And additionally, we'll have a look at ease of use as well. Cordina was developed in part to be integrated into a traditional business workflow and understood by non-technical users. According, accordingly, PAC code is executed directly on the ledger and is stored in a human readable format. PAC code has error messages and PAC contracts are upgradable, allowing developers to fix errors or adopt logic as business needs evolve. Cardena is among the first blockchain projects to deliver such comprehensive feature set. Further, users are able to enjoy these features across Cardena's hybrid blockchain platform. A public private interoperable network, this hybrid solution allows users to take advantage of the benefits from both public and private blockchains without compromise, thus enabling use cases that were previously not possible. Cardina is also a hybrid blockchain platform consisting of a blockchain protocol called ChainWeb and a private chain protocol called Curro. The public and private network are interoperable through the smart contract language name PAC. Now, if we compare Cardina, Solano, Avalanche, Algorand, and Cardano, we compare all of these blockchains, this is what we get. This is just an example of the TPS throughputs, the transactions that are able to be delivered throughout the network per second. Starting with Cardina, that's around 480,000 with 20 chains that are apparently unlimited. Also, the fees are incredibly low. Compare this with any other crypto on this list. Other cryptos on this list, such as Solano, do have low fees as well, but Cardina is incredibly low in comparison because obviously these market caps are not the same as they are right now. This is a tweet from earlier this year in April. It's really old. Those information, the technology information, those informations are very important and very reliable. So now it's time to make our prediction on Cardina. So right now Cardina has actually moved up to around $23.86. This is really impressive because it keeps on moving up in price. At the moment, it's doing extremely well. And I've got to say, since around the end of October, it's been doing incredibly well. It's gone from a price around $7.49 to where it is right now. We're in new price discovery territory and it's non-stop. It's on an upward trajectory climb and it's not slowing down anytime soon. In the space of a day, it went from around $11 to where it is right now, getting super close to $24. In fact, 
we might see that happen on screen right now as we watch. And there it goes, it's finally crossed $24 and it keeps on rising. So honestly, this is a crypto that's just not given up. This is a crypto that does not give up. There we go, it's dipped below $24 once again. My price prediction is that it will definitely hit $30 anytime soon. And this will definitely happen before the end of November. I think up until the end of November, we're looking at $30 and $40, between $30 and $40 for Cardina. That's really optimistic, but at the same time, that's a really sensible prediction. Before the end of the year, we're looking at $50, maybe even $60, depending on where the market goes. Right now, I'm not seeing any weakness in Cardina at the moment. I'm only seeing a lot of positive drive and a lot of momentum. One of the main things that could ruin Cardina right now in terms of price rally is mostly because of Christmas. People will end up putting less money into the crypto market and the financial market because they're using money for vacation, they're using money for presents for family members. So less money will go into the crypto market, which simply means cryptos will be affected. This could be any crypto. It could be Bitcoin, it could be Ethereum, and it could be the majority of crypto in the entire crypto market. Could see a huge dip because of Christmas. And we don't know when this will take effect exactly, but definitely going towards the end of November, you'll start to see an effect being taken towards the entire crypto market due to Christmas. But on the positive side, there's just a lot of volume right now and the, and the growth is strong, extremely strong. What you're looking at here is just a continuation in price rally, meaning that the natural trajectory pattern is occurring. What you're seeing is a narrow growth, and I've written this down, this is a plus. We've got new price discovery territory, which is where we are right now, and it's not quitting. And what we've got now is a market lead. So we've got a lot of great things going on for Cardina. This is great. Not to mention just how much volume there are in the market, how much volume that's being placed into Cardina. Now, on the other hand, in case of a pullback, we're possibly looking for a market correction. There will be a market correction, but we don't know exactly when. And because, especially with Cardina, it's never been this high before, even close. So we've never seen a real pullback, a real dramatic pullback where people start panicking and selling. We haven't seen that yet. So this will be a first when it does happen for Cardina. But still, all the positive are pointing towards Cardina. All, all the positive, all the time. Because I think how a lot of people are seeing it right now is that it's just undervalued. Honestly, it's like, it's simply undervalued. One thing I can say about Cardino for sure is that you've got to watch the market. You've got to be careful because a lot of people are starting to compare Cardino to Solano and they have good reason to do that. These cryptos, these platforms, they are very similar in a lot of ways. And in a lot of, and in a lot of ways, they both hold similar values. Therefore, you have to be careful when keeping an eye on these cryptos because they will behave in similar ways. You'll see a similar trajectory from Cardina that you've seen in the past from Solana if you look at both graphs. The trajectories will be similar. So you have to keep that in mind. You so you have to keep that in mind and you have to take that into account. So that right there has been my price analysis, price prediction for Cardina. So thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to see more. Leave a like, leave a comment. And of course, I'll be sure to see you in my next videos.